two weekends, three hackathons, and $75,000 worth of prizes on the line. Do these students have what it takes to succeed? Are you excited? Yes, of course I am. We're going to win this. Hello, welcome back. In case you're new here, my name is Jensen, and I'm a freshman at MIT studying electrical engineering and computer science. Over the past couple of months, I found a new addiction, hackathons. Hackathons are a 24 to 48 hour coding competition where students work in teams to create projects to solve problems. Throughout the year, I've done several hackathons and learned so much at each one. I also met some amazing friends that I continue to compete with to this day. If you watch until the end of this video, I will teach you how hackathons can help you get into your dream college, land amazing internships, and earn awesome prizes. I will also teach you how to find and win hackathons near you. This weekend, my team and I competed in two hackathons at once, the Harvard AI Hackathon and Boston University's Civic Tech Hackathon with two separate projects. We ride to the hackathon. Yeah. <laughs> That's like 95% of getting something done. It's just believing that you can do it. What's great is this guest speaker talked about the power of blockchain and cooperative finance, helping us come up with an idea for this hackathon. Now, all we had to do was actually build it. We are staying up in my dorm lobby and coding. It's 3 a.m., we got some stuff working, and now we're going to bed, and we'll wake up early to go to Boston University to check in for their hackathon, so we can work on two projects at once this weekend. Isn't that going to be fun? It's delightful. Yay. Yay! We're all up. And now we're heading to um, Boston University to do their hackathon's opening ceremony. We're still working on the project from the other hackathon. At the Boston University hackathon opening ceremony, they went over the Hack the Archives challenge, where teams were tasked to create an interactive visualization of archival data. We decided to make an educational tool in this track. Okay, we worked for a while here, and now we're heading back to Harvard to work on the blockchain-based idea. Off we go. So what was your opinion of BU? How did you feel about the university? It was, the building was very fancy. It was a very nice building. It was a very building. nice building. We were all very jealous of how nice their building was. How'd you feel about Harvard? Harvard, it was Harvard. significantly less nice. Yeah. It looked cool on the outside, but it was... Not as cool on the inside. Yeah. BU's building, very nice. At Harvard, we divided tasks between our team members and spent hours working on developing projects for both hackathons. Approximately 10 hours later. How do you feel? I am so happy because it works. I know, it's pretty cool, it's right? Lovely. It looks so good. We're heading back for the night. It's only midnight, right? Yeah. Woo! -hoo. We're gonna go back to the dorms and work some more. Going to bed at 3 a.m. We got up bright and early the next morning to head to the hackathons. Both had judging at the exact same time, so Haley and I headed to Harvard to present Lindora, and the rest of the team headed to BU to present our other project, ChronoQuest. Haley and I are getting ready to pitch. We're gonna go up next. It's terrifying, but I believe in us. We're gonna do so. Hopefully, yeah, yeah, we got this, we got this. Okay, we just presented to the judges. We think it went pretty good. It was pretty good. And just like that, it was time for the award ceremonies. Protoplast from the BU Library. Again, one more, one more drum roll, please. It's Protoplast. Again, one more drum roll. Best product demo. Lindora. What do you say there? Because best product design was a tie between you and Insurer. All right, drum roll again. FinTech first place. Lindora. Uh, blockchain first place. Lindora. I had such an amazing time at these two hackathons and learned so much. I had never done a blockchain based project before and it was so great getting to get that hands on experience. Hackathons are very beneficial for both high school and college students. 
For high school students, hackathons are an amazing source of getting great projects to write about on college applications, awards to put in the awards section, and also projects to put in your maker portfolios for schools like Columbia, MIT, and Caltech that allow you to submit them. I know so many students who've gone to top schools just by competing and winning lots of hackathons and having some amazing projects to write about. Also, for both high school and college students, hackathons can actually help you land internships. So obviously having a hackathon in your resume is going to help you land an internship because you have great projects and awards to show your coding experience. But also hackathon sponsors are often willing to offer you internships if they're impressed by your work. For example, at the Harvard AI hackathon I just showed you, the sponsor offered my whole team internships and we're currently working for his company helping develop software for them. Keep watching until the end to learn how to find and win great hackathons near you. The next weekend, one of my teammates, Arian, and I were invited to a brand new hackathon called SV Hub. They brought in some of the best hackers from across the nation and paid for our flights to San Francisco and our hotel rooms. If we were named as one of the top three winners, the prize was $50,000 to work on our hackathon project as a startup all summer long. Okay, so I got to San Francisco, we met up, and now we're heading to the Thriller Club for a social. We made it to a social event. The other competitors at this hackathon were amazing. All of them were so experienced. They had so many cool projects they had made before this. Some of the competitors were even grad students with such cool research. As soon as the social ended, Arian and I knew we had to get straight to work before the hackathon the next day. We went to a late night coffee shop to brainstorm ideas until we finally settled on a fintech project that we'd build at the hackathon. Okay, we stayed up late working on our idea, and now we are headed up. Oh. Arian and I are headed to the hackathon location. We had a great time last night, and we stayed up late in our hotel room working. <laughs> yeah. We arrived at the hackathon venue. Wait, sure keep where they're sick. Look at all the snacks they have available for us while we work. Absolutely delicious. And they even have a coffee bar, a fridge. Yes. They supplied us with delicious cupcakes, and we are still working. Arian, how do you feel? Delightful. Yay! It's a fun day. Indeed. We got sushi burritos for dinner. Arian, they're sushi burritos. I got sumo crunch. You have to grab a different flavor so we can share our sushi burrito. And just like that, we were presenting to the judges. The other projects were so amazing. I knew that Arian and I did not have a chance, but the experience was incredible, and the people running the hackathon were so knowledgeable. The CEOs of Intuit, Waymo, Udacity, and other companies were the judges, which was so cool, and they gave such great mentorship. SV Hub's going to be running more hackathons like this in the future, and I would definitely recommend looking into them and trying to compete, because this was just such a great experience. We just finished judging, now they're discussing, and I'm cleaning up. Arian, Arian, what happened? What happened? Oh, yes. Who knows what they're doing for summer? <laughs> yes. I was like, I can't record, you know, the awards ceremony because I like there's so few of us here that that would just be too. Like I thought that was way too. I thought we had no chance, no chance at all. I was like, filming it will just make them make fun of me after. So I was like, I can't film this awards ceremony. But the, but then we won fifty thousand dollars to work on our project all summer. We came up with the project idea today. We didn't know what we were doing. We totally pivoted. And we still won. So excited. So, my biggest piece of advice on how to succeed in a hackathon is you need to have a good idea. Sure, that sounds way easier said than done. But the biggest thing you're going to be judged on before of how impressive your technology is or how well you implemented your product is how good your initial idea is. So when you're going into a hackathon, you want to make sure your team is coming up with something that you would genuinely use in the real world or that a company or industry you're building your idea for would absolutely implement because of how much it would help them. Also, you need to remember that you are building a minimum viable product. It does not have to be perfect. The judges know you have very limited time. So your goal is to build something with the bare minimum features you need to fully demonstrate your idea to the judges. Here's some super useful websites to find some amazing hackathons near you. The Hack Club website is home to exclusively high school hackathons. I've actually helped present at one of these hackathons, and I was so impressed by how organized they were and the resources they provided attendees. The Major League Hacking website has many different collegiate hackathons, such as Hackett Brown, Stanford Tree Hacks, and Boston University Civic Hackathons that I've attended. Also, DevPost has so many great hackathons. It is where I found out about the Harvard Live AI Hackathon. Many of DevPost's hackathons are virtual, and it hosts hackathons in person around the world so anyone can participate. If you want help winning hackathons, I have a 
college consulting business because I got into every college I applied to, including Stanford, Harvard, Princeton, Yale, UPenn, MIT, Brown, Cornell, Johns Hopkins, and UChicago, and won a full ride worth of merit-based scholarships from an unranked average public high school. I mentor high school students, helping them write essays, decide extracurriculars, win competitions like hackathons, help with passion projects, research, and internships. I do college consulting through Luminar Central, and if you want a free 15-minute consultation with me, click the link in the description. Thank you so much for listening. Please like and subscribe for more content like this.